Holy smokes, guys. If you're not paying attention to what's happening right now, you seriously need to wake up. We've got a weather situation that's about to go from zero to absolutely insane, faster than you can say Arctic blast. I'm talking about the kind of winter mayhem that shuts down entire cities and breaks temperature records left and right. And the crazy part? Most people have no clue what's about to hit them in the next 24 hours. So listen up, because I'm about to break down the most bonkers winter setup I've seen in years. Tomorrow morning, we're getting slammed by snow from the Florida Panhandle all the way up to Boston. But that's just the warm-up act, folks. What comes after is going to be absolutely brutal. We're about to get hit with Arctic air so cold, it'll make your teeth chatter just thinking about it. I'm talking wind chills dropping to 40 degrees below zero. The kind of cold that literally hurts. And here's the kicker. This isn't a one-and-done deal. We're looking at wave after wave of this stuff. Drop your location in the comments right now, and I'll tell you exactly what kind of chaos is headed your way. All right, let me explain why this situation has me completely fired up as a weather guy. What's happening is basically the atmosphere has completely lost its mind. Our jet stream, think of it as the highway that guides our weather, has taken this massive detour southward. Instead of flowing smoothly across the country like it's supposed to, it's diving straight down like a kamikaze pilot. This creates what meteorologists call a negative NAO pattern. But let me translate that into normal people speak. Basically, it's opened up a superhighway for Arctic air to pour straight down from Canada. And when I say Arctic air, I don't mean your typical winter chill. I'm talking about the real McCoy. The kind of cold that makes you question every life choice that brought you to this moment. Right now, as I'm recording this, that Arctic air is already charging south like a freight train. It's diving all the way down to the Gulf Coast, which is absolutely nuts if you think about it. Now, here's where tomorrow gets really interesting. And this is what has my weather nerd brain going crazy. We've got this Arctic freight train about to slam into a wall of moisture along the East Coast. When these two forces collide, it's like mixing fire and gasoline. Except, instead of explosions, we get snow. And here's something that's honestly blowing my mind about this forecast. We're actually tracking the possibility of accumulating snow as far south as Tallahassee, Florida. Let me say that again so it sinks in. Tallahassee, Florida might wake up to snow on the ground tomorrow. If that doesn't make you do a double take, I don't know what will. Meanwhile, up north in New England, they're about to get absolutely hammered. Boston and surrounding areas are looking at a legitimate winter wallop with three to six inches on tap. But here's what really gets me pumped up about this entire pattern. After tomorrow's system clears out, we don't get any kind of break whatsoever. Monday and Tuesday are shaping up to deliver the coldest air we've seen all winter long. I'm talking about wind chills from Chicago through Minneapolis, hitting 25 to 35 degrees below zero. And if you're thinking we get some relief after that, well, think again. Wednesday and Thursday, boom, another Arctic blast heading your way. Friday and Saturday, yep, you guessed it, even more bitter cold streaming down from Canada. At this point, you're probably sick of me saying Arctic air, but this is our reality for the next two weeks. Now, let me break down what this madness means for major cities, because location is absolutely everything. Atlanta, folks, tomorrow's going to be a nail-biter with temps hovering right at the freezing mark. Don't expect anything crazy, but some slushy accumulation on grass and cars is definitely in the cards. Charlotte sits pretty for snow with one to three inches looking likely across the metro. Raleigh-Durham, you guys are right in the sweet spot, expecting a solid two to four inches. Virginia Beach and Norfolk, you'll probably see light to moderate snow with one to two inches possible. D.C. is right in the northern edge of this thing, so maybe a coating to an inch at most. Philly and New York, you'll dodge most of tomorrow's action, but that Arctic air is coming for you big time. And Boston, like I said earlier, you're looking at the best shot for significant snow with three to six inches. Now, what absolutely floors me about this entire setup is how persistent it's going to be. This jet stream pattern shows absolutely zero signs of backing down anytime soon. 
What that means is we're going to keep getting hammered with Arctic air shot after Arctic air shot. By my calculations, we can see five or six separate Arctic invasions before January is done. That works out to roughly one major cold blast every two to three days. Absolutely ridiculous. And speaking of ridiculous, let me paint you a picture of what Monday morning is going to feel like. If you live anywhere from the Midwest through the Ohio Valley, you're going to need every piece of winter gear you own. We're talking about the kind of cold that makes your nose hairs freeze the second you step outside. The kind of weather where you start questioning why humans ever decided to live anywhere north of Florida. But wait, there's more fun in store. Lake Effect snow is about to go absolutely bananas. Starting Monday, all this Arctic air is going to flow over the Great Lakes like a snowmaking machine on steroids. Buffalo and surrounding areas could easily see one to two feet of snow in the heaviest bands. Cleveland, Detroit, and other lake cities, you guys better dust off those snowblowers right now. Now, I know what a lot of you are probably wondering at this point. Is this crazy pattern going to stick around, or are we going to catch a break soon? Well, I hate to be the bearer of bad news if you're not a winter fan, but this baby is here to stay. Long-range forecast models are showing this pattern potentially hanging around well into February. The atmospheric setup is just too strong and stubborn to break down quickly. For those asking about travel impacts, yeah, they're going to be absolutely massive. Airport cancellations, highway closures, the whole nightmare scenario, especially in the Midwest and Northeast. If you've got any travel plans over the next couple weeks, I'd seriously consider having a plan B ready. Energy companies are already scrambling to handle the massive demand spike that's about to hit. Your heating bills are about to go through the roof, so maybe start mentally preparing for that sticker shock. And for our farming folks out there, this pattern is definitely going to require some serious preparation. Livestock and sensitive crops are going to need extra protection from this sustained deep freeze. All right, let's geek out for a minute about what makes this meteorologically so fascinating. What we're dealing with is called a Rex block pattern, basically a traffic jam in the sky. This creates incredibly persistent weather patterns that just refuse to budge for weeks at a time. The Arctic Oscillation is also tanked, which is weather nerd speak for buckle up for sustained, brutal cold. When multiple atmospheric patterns align like this, it gives us super high confidence in what's coming. Upper level wind patterns are perfectly positioned for any storms that develop to absolutely explode. This means storm systems will have incredible atmospheric support for rapid intensification. Even ocean temperature patterns are playing along with this atmospheric configuration. It's what meteorologists call positive feedback. Everything reinforces everything else, creating crazy persistence. For snow lovers out there, this represents one of the most favorable patterns we've seen all winter. Multiple opportunities for significant snowfall across such a huge area is pretty darn rare. Quick question for everyone. Are you team one massive blizzard or team multiple smaller storms? Let me know in the comments because this pattern has the potential to deliver both scenarios. The potential for some truly wild weather phenomena is absolutely off the charts this week. Lake effect bands could crank out snowfall rates exceeding two inches per hour in the prime zones. Thunder snow becomes a real possibility when these lake effect bands really get cranking. Arctic sea smoke might develop over the Great Lakes as frigid air meets relatively warm water. Wind chill values could legitimately reach life-threatening levels across the upper Midwest. Ground blizzard conditions become possible even without falling snow when winds really pick up. Now let's break down what this means regionally because every area is facing different challenges here. The southeast is about to experience something pretty darn unusual with multiple winter weather chances. Areas that rarely see snow could potentially experience several events over the next two weeks. The mid-Atlantic is sitting right in the bullseye for multiple potential storm systems. This region could see everything from light dustings to significant accumulations depending on storm tracks. New England looks perfectly positioned for multiple snow events, especially away from the coast. Coastal areas might deal with more mixed precipitation, but interior regions could really cash in. 
The Ohio Valley faces perhaps the most challenging conditions with bitter cold and multiple storm threats. This region typically gets hit the hardest when patterns like this really get going. The Midwest should prepare for absolutely relentless winter conditions with basically zero relief. Multiple Arctic blasts plus lake effect snow equals a really long, tough stretch ahead. The Great Plains could see some significant winter storms during the final week of January. This region often gets the biggest snowfalls when jet stream patterns align just right. Looking ahead to the end of the month, the pattern gets even more interesting. The jet stream is forecast to shift into a more zonal flow around the last weekend of January. Don't think this means quieter weather, though. It actually opens the door to different types of problems. This transition could allow storm systems to track over the Rockies during late January. When storms take this path during winter, it usually means big snow for the plains and Midwest. Areas like Tennessee and Arkansas could also end up in the crosshairs. Even with this pattern shift, cold air won't be going anywhere since our flow still comes from Canada. So we're potentially looking at another Arctic blast right around the very end of the month. For those planning ahead, definitely factor this pattern into any February travel arrangements. Winter weather could remain a major factor well into next month. Climate patterns like our current ocean conditions often support extended periods of winter weather. Current sea surface temperature patterns favor continuation of this atmospheric setup. Let me hit you with some specific outlooks for the major metros that keep asking. Chicago, get ready for an absolutely brutal week with multiple chances for snow. While tomorrow's system misses you, later systems could definitely bring significant snowfall. St. Louis is in an interesting spot for potential winter weather during the final week of January. Kansas City could see major impacts from that weekend system currently showing on the models. Denver faces extreme cold, but more limited precipitation opportunities with this particular pattern. Memphis and Nashville should definitely keep a close eye on that midweek system. Columbus and Cincinnati are perfectly positioned for multiple winter weather opportunities this week. Pittsburgh could see impacts from both lake effect snow and the broader storm systems. Now. Let me share some preparation strategies for this extended winter nightmare. Stock up on essentials now because multiple systems could seriously mess with supply chains. Make sure your heating system is working properly before the most brutal cold arrives. Have backup heating sources ready in case of power outages during the extreme cold. Keep your vehicles winterized with proper antifreeze and emergency supplies. Check on elderly neighbors and relatives who might need help during the brutal cold stretch. Keep a close eye on pets and livestock during these Arctic air invasions. Stay informed about changing conditions as this wild pattern continues to evolve. Download weather apps that give you real-time updates for your specific area. Follow local emergency management for the latest safety information and warnings. This winter pattern represents something we honestly don't see very often. The combination of persistent cold and active storm tracks creates opportunities for truly memorable winter weather. Whether you absolutely love winter weather or completely hate it, this pattern will definitely impact your life. Stay prepared, stay informed, and most importantly, stay safe as this incredible pattern unfolds. I'll be tracking every development and bringing you the latest updates as they happen. What questions do you have about this pattern? Drop them below and I'll tackle them in future videos. Thanks for hanging with me through this deep dive into what promises to be an absolutely wild winter pattern. Make sure to smash that subscribe button for continued coverage of this developing situation. And remember, when patterns this significant develop, staying informed is absolutely critical. Winter has arrived with a serious attitude, and it looks like it's planning to stick around for the long haul. I'll catch you in the next update as we continue tracking this absolutely insane winter pattern together.